Eight warning signs that you have low levels of oxygen in your blood. When you breathe in through your lungs, you take in oxygen from the air in order to keep you alive. This gas called oxygen is passed into your red blood cells so that it can be circulated through your body to your internal organs, your tissues, your muscles and your cells. You see, oxygen is very important as it helps all of your cells to make energy. Unfortunately, many people suffer from low blood oxygen levels which can cause damage to the cells in your heart, your liver and your brain over time. But what causes low blood oxygen levels in the first place? Well, it can be caused by a chronic lung disease such as asthma, bronchitis, emphysema, COPD or pneumonia. Smoking cigarettes can also lock up your haemoglobin, which lowers the oxygen storage capacity in your blood. High levels of a stress hormone called cortisol or anxiety can cause you to hyperventilate in a panic attack and you lose the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in your blood. Also, snoring and sleep apnea can reduce oxygen levels, along with eating too much sugar, which causes the blood to become more acid, reducing oxygen levels, or a deficiency in certain nutrients, which could be causing anemia or low antioxidant levels. If this problem is left untreated, low levels of oxygen in your blood can lead to hypoxia and some major damage to your internal organs. In this video, we will be exploring 8 warning signs and symptoms that you have low levels of oxygen in your blood to watch out for. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. The first symptom to watch out for is air hunger. Now, if there isn't enough oxygen in your blood, your body will crave more air, making you feel short of breath quite often. This can feel like a tightness in your chest and you may sigh frequently through the day with small puffs of air as you breathe out. This is caused when the blood has become too acidic, which stops the oxygen moving freely around your body. Sign number two is dizziness and weakness. If you stand up or you perform some light activity like walking and you find that you're feeling dizzy or very weak, then you may have low oxygen levels in your blood. You may feel off balanced and notice your vision blacking out for a moment or two, especially around the edges or the periphery of your vision. This means that oxygen isn't reaching your muscles properly, causing weakness. Number three is fast heartbeat. An average person has a heart rate between 60 to 100 beats per minute. You can count these very easily using your first two fingers on the inside of your wrist. If your heart rate is higher than this level whilst you're resting, or perhaps you can hear your heartbeat when you're laying down in bed, this could indicate that you have low levels of oxygen in your blood, so your heart is working harder to pump additional blood through the body. This leads me on to number four, muscle cramps and chest pain. If you suffer with chest pain, muscle cramps or angina, which is cramping of the heart, this can also indicate that you are low in blood oxygen and you may need to consume more electrolyte minerals, vitamin E and B vitamin rich foods to help oxygenate your blood. But we'll talk more about how to boost your oxygen levels later in the video. If you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Let's come back now to symptom number five, heavy legs. If you climb up stairs or you walk up a slight hill and you notice that you become out of breath easily, then you are likely lacking oxygen in your blood. Your thighs and your calves may feel very heavy because not enough oxygen is reaching the muscles or you may have a weaker heart due to poor fitness levels. Vitamin C or vitamin E deficiencies usually cause this particular problem. The sixth sign is brittle nails, ridges or paleness. Take a look at your fingernails. If they are very pink and smooth with barely noticeable fine vertical lines, then this is a good sign that you're healthy. However, if your nail is very pale and it has a lighter strip of colour across the top, this could indicate anemia, where there isn't enough haemoglobin in your blood, so less oxygen is being transported to your nail bed. 
Likewise, if your nails are very brittle, they break easily, or the vertical lines have become deep ridges, this is also a sign of anemia and nerve damage to the nail bed caused by low oxygen levels. Number 7 is a blue tinge to your skin. In some cases, you may develop a bluish colour or a tinge on your skin or your lips. This condition is called cyanosis and it happens when not enough oxygen is reaching the tissues. This can develop very suddenly and is usually accompanied by shortness of breath. Please seek medical help immediately in this situation. And lastly, number 8 is confusion. If there isn't enough oxygen reaching your brain, you will often feel confused, lethargic, tired and irritated. This is often caused by a deficiency in vitamin B1 or thiamine, which is causing damage to your nerves and the neurons in your brain. This is often triggered by eating large amounts of sugar or refined carbohydrates. So if you experience some of these symptoms, please visit your doctor for a quick checkup. They will use an oximeter to check your blood oxygen levels. A normal reading is around 95-100%, to 100%, but if it's below this, especially below 92, then there is definitely an underlying problem. Alternatively, if you wish, you can purchase your own pulse oximeter to use at home, which is just a simple little clip that goes over your finger and is relatively inexpensive. I'll drop a link to one below the video if you're interested. Now, let's take a look at 6 simple lifestyle tips that you can use to boost up your oxygen levels. 1. Firstly, make sure that you're eating foods that are rich in heme iron. This is the type of iron that's bound to animal protein in oily fish, shellfish and high quality grass fed beef and liver. These foods also naturally contain vitamin B12 which works with the iron to increase your red blood cells so that more oxygen can be stored and carried through the blood. 2. Cut back on refined carbohydrates like sugar, soda and refined grains like flour, bread, wheat, pasta, pancakes, biscuits etc. These refined foods deplete your antioxidants and can acidify your blood causing low oxygen levels. 3. Eat foods naturally rich in vitamin E to improve the function of the heart and boost oxygen levels such as sunflower seeds, avocados, extra virgin olive oil, hazelnuts, Swiss chard and all of the leafy green vegetables. If you wish, you can also take a powerful supplemental form of vitamin E called tocotrienols. 4. Take long walks with a slow pace in areas where there are lots of trees and plant life. Aim to walk for at least 30 minutes every single day. Gentle exercise, fresh air and essential oils released from the trees help to boost circulation and oxygenate your blood. 5. Eat low glycemic berries daily that are high in antioxidants and resveratrol to boost oxygen levels such as blueberries, strawberries, gooseberries and acai berries. You should also aim to drink at least 1 litre of mineral water each day to hydrate your body and thin out your blood to aid the exchange of oxygen around your body. I recommend mashing 3 tablespoons of berries in the morning, adding 1 quarter of a teaspoon of Celtic or Himalayan salt and 16 ounces of carbonated mineral water to make a delicious healthy drink which will improve blood oxygen and boost your electrolytes. Lastly, you can perform abdo diaphragmatic breathing. Simply place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. Practice breathing very deeply and slowly to a count of four, breathing in into your belly whilst keeping your chest still, and then breathe out slowly to a count of six. This helps to improve the distribution of air into your lungs and it also calms down the stress hormone called cortisol to trigger peace and relaxation. Try out these techniques and see which works best for you. Some people however may need to take some stronger vitamins to improve their oxygen levels. To learn, like to more, learn about more about vitamins about the that top boost six oxygenation ways to overcome blood, depression, go ahead and go tap ahead on this video on, this on, the, video screen on now. the screen now. Thank you Thank so you much so for watching, my, watching video my video today. today. And, as always, and as always, I wish you I great, wish health, great health, wealth, wealth and happiness. And happiness.